Ua. Welcome back, guys. This is the one and only Fernando Garo. This is Rapid Evolution Volume 2, Episode 2. For those of you who don't know, this is a segment on my YouTube channel where I will not only share my journey, share the hard, harder lessons, the vulnerability, um, and certain laws, certain axioms that have been imparted in my life from the top of every class, whether it's in business, whether it's in the social sciences, whether it's in you know, magic, anything you want, any subject that I've studied, here it is live to you guys, free on YouTube uh, from my experiences and my reference points. So if this is your first video, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. Watch the rest of the YouTube videos and this segment of rapid evolution as we continue to move forward and dive deep into the concepts and understanding of our own inner game. Life is played in two opposite poles, in two dimensions, as within, so without. As within the world inside of us and the world outside of us. For us to reap and benefit the beauty of life itself, we must begin to embody all the qualities that we want from the world outside. We want money, let's build a wealthy mind. We want love, let's begin to love our own self. We want respect, admiration, loyalty. Well, damn it, let's carry these and be the pinnacle qualities and embodiments of these qualities itself. And so in Rapid Evolution, we'll begin to dive deep on concepts and ideas that will only allow you to ascend into new levels of life and beingness, right? This is for anyone with an open mind. So before we begin, I want you to get into a state. What do I mean by that? There's a certain angle you must study my material from. So I want you to begin, get comfortable, sit down. And as you begin to listen to the words that come out of my voice, Allow the ease in your mind, allow the ease in your body to become tranquil, be at ease with it. Get relaxed as much as possible, get comfortable within your own self. It's our own mind that resists new information, new worlds of other portals that we can open up. And as we begin to speak on this key, key concept, and it's been crucial in my life and my evolution of my world, and everything that I've uh, been susceptible to receiving, right? And it's a simple principle, but it's active in every arena of your life. And this is the law of exchange. What do I mean by the law of exchange? I want you to think for a moment. Let's say you made $10, $100. And these $100, as they were spent out to the universe, you exchanged your means, which was that $100 bill, with a certain product, a certain, for me to buy this, this kombucha, right? I had to exchange my hard-earned money to buy this, $3, right? There was an exchange that took place. Now, my exchange, my investment was in this product. Now, this product must bring me benefit and value for me to continue to exchange. So life is always an exchange, whether it's in the means of money, whether it's a means of admiration, a compliment, love, it's an exchange, right? Commodity. And as we move forward through life, let's take a look of how we're exchanging with the world itself, the world that we play in, the world that we live in. When you begin to integrate and have a consciousness of this exchange, this polarity of exchange, you can now take assertiveness and control of the intention with your exchange. You see, there's times in my life where whether I'm meeting with a client, I do real estate, or whether I'm getting a haircut from my barber, there's an exchange taking place. Yes, I'm receiving a service from my barber. However, how can I build a moment in time where there's an exchange taking place? I'm the one receiving a haircut However, during this time is a moment where I can exchange my communication, exchange my compliments. I can exchange my value and knowledge in those moments in time 
where that relationship grows and we ascend to a new level. It's no longer just a barber and client relationship. I'm now that person where the barber wants to come around and cut my hair. Or let's say it's with your local car shop or let's say it's your local grocery store and you're exchanging in communication. You're exchanging in value. Now let's take it to another level. Let's say you're in a relationship. What's your means of exchanging in this relationship? What are the values that one, you're giving, two, receiving? You see a friendship or a relationship, you relate on a certain subject, you relate on a certain way of living, and you exchange value within that means, within that context of life. You see, we can also analyze the opposite pole. When one doesn't exchange enough, how we don't like that person or that aspect or that way of life. You see, we talk shit on the people that don't exchange. Take a look in your own life. Let's say you're at a family party and it's a, a potluck. And every, everybody brings food, everybody brings these delicious, you know, you got, you got the breads, you got the macaroni, you got the salad, you got the steaks, you got the chicken, you got vegan items, whatever, right? And then there's that one family member who comes and brings nothing. And at the end of the party, this person has the biggest plate to go. Now, usually we're like, what the fuck? This person didn't bring anything. And in that moment, it's where exchange wasn't given. Something was taken and there's an emptiness inside when something is taken from you or taken from an experience. Take a look in your own life. Were there people who came with the frame of a friend, who came with the frame of an ally, who came with the frame of a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, etc., and brought nothing to the table, exchanged nothing, just sapped everything from you? Now, we can all probably relate to those experiences and see them in our mind and say, man, that was such a shitty experience. However, we want to focus on how can we take control in our own life? How can we exchange our means, whether it's money, whether it's our loyalty, whether it's our values in life? Exchanging your values and being in exchange with the world. You see, when you're in exchange, there's a portal that opens up in the world. It's as if a new world, a new door opens and you begin to walk, walk that path. Let's say, for example, you exchange, um, let's say you exchange love to the world. Let's say from this moment on, I'm not exchanging anything. When I speak, it's coming from the sense of love, admiration, and respect. We just added three now. And I now take this new approach to life, this new state of mind. And that any time I find my mind deviate or want to talk shit or want to criticize, let me revert back and say, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm standing on the foundation of love, admiration, and respect. And when you open this new portal, you begin to walk the path of love, admiration, and respect. And that begins with your own self-assessment. It begins with your own embodiment of these qualities. You begin to love things about you that you're super proud of, you know, certain activities that you've done, certain achievements, certain areas of your life that you love. Maybe it's your smile. Maybe it's the way you communicate to life and self-express. Maybe it's your freedom to go out and explore the unknown. And you love that about you. Now you can stand proud of that expression of you. Let's say there's certain areas that you admire about yourself. Talk about them. You admire that you're a millennial, you're in business for yourself. You've been signing your own checks since 18 and you admire the fuck out of that. Be proud of that shit. Let's say you've been working for an industry for 20 plus years and you're proud of that. Admire that about you because at the same polarity that you can admire that within yourself, you can admire that of the world. You see, when we exchange our admiration, our love or respect or any quality, anything that we want to exchange, the world grows around that, that physical or that, that aspect of life. You see, when you exchange shit, you get shit back. When you're criticizing the world, when you're judging, when you're condemning people, when you're exchanging negative values to the world, 
the world is going to recognize the universe always always provides and the universe will provide you that exact exchange so take accountability of how you're exchanging with life understand that anything you want in this world is going to fall down to what you're willing to exchange with it you see as I begin to analyze the friends the proximity the environments that I am now instilled in the ones I take place in the ones I value the friendships I value the alliances that I value the tribes that I have that I value there's a means of exchange and anytime I find myself not exchanging enough it's as if I need to wake up that side of me where can I provide my value where can I provide my strengths every environment that I found myself in whether it's in the world of social sciences and the world of real estate hanging out with multimillionaires, hanging out with people who have everything right what's my value proposition what can I exchange with them and sometimes it means money for me to be around the proximity that I'm at I've had to exchange money I found myself in a field where I can make X amount and with the money that I have here how are you exchanging it out take a look of how you're exchanging with life money is the representation the physical representation of how you're exchanging out maybe you have bad spending addictions bad spending habits you can now see the results of your life based on where your money is exchanging a large portion of my life is being exchanged with people I value my teacher my mentors the people I study, experiences with the people I value is where my exchange of means is going. So now let's take a, a quick analysis of your own life and begin to analyze and see how am I exchanging with the world? What are the values that I'm, uh, that I'm creating? What are the effects I'm creating? And it's not too late for you to now repivot the values you want to now receive, but at the same time exchange with the world. And the more skilled, as you begin, as you begin to fine tune your instrument and the instrument being your own communication and expression, as you begin to fine tune this instrument and reassess your values and instill the values that you want to represent yourself as, you can now exchange at the value that you want to receive. You want a million dollars? Well, damn it, be worth a million dollars and exchange your value to the world with zero apology whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on all social media platforms, with zero apologies. Whether someone comes and criticizes you, whether someone comes and talks shit and leaves a hateful comment, that's their exchange. Allow the universe to take care of that because you know that the universe is a law of exchange. There's a, a law, an axiom that's taking place. You don't have to do anything. You can say fuck you and let the universe take care of that. But at the same time, you go out and present your value and the rest, well, you already know. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys liked this topic, you guys gained value from it, comment down below. I'm very curious to read your guys' comments and see how are you exchanging with the world? What values would you love to instill within your own self and express that to the world so that you begin to grow in that aspect, whether it's money, whether it's relationships, whether it's you know knowledge and skills, information, anything. Drop in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And if there's any other topics you guys would love me to talk about in Rapid Evolution, which features every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday, you can count on it. Rapid Evolution will be there. This is volume two, episode two of Rapid Evolution. And we will continue to move forward. Hope you guys like this. Like and subscribe. And for all real estate related questions here in the Southern California era, you reach out to me, Fernando Caro, and I'll get you taken care of, guys. See ya. That's Rapid Evolution.